December 1938, reorganizing factory setup have not done our May, June, August, or October updates to our models for 1941. To look at a new direction, concentrate more on the overall quality of our vehicles, looking at primarily what each marquee is going to represent. To get a baseline of that, take a look at the last model that is currently selling right now. 3C has a luxury of 51. I start standardizing our products. So we wanted to kind of figure out what direction they're going to go in. For our Granville, our safety is going to at least be at 55. Our cargo in our electric vehicles is always going to be maxed our dependability of our electric vehicles is going to at least be at 60 percent it is january of 1939 and we're continuing to produce our upcoming model to make any adjustments as the model year changes we're currently looking at our dove industries dove is currently utilizing the allure 3a eq6 transmission in about 27 months the Dove 3A EQ D7 transmission will come online and that's an automatic transmission to further increase some of the sports appeal of the Dove brand approximately 62 months we will have a semi-automatic transmission. One will be the Dove 3A EQ D8 semi-automatic transmission. And the EQ stands for that it's an evolution of the quality standards of the Allure 3A EQ6 transmission. This model year, we have redesigned our front grille. We've updated the lighting scheme on the vehicle to be more of a elegant, free-flowing, aerodynamic styling. We've also been working on our quality standards for each individual division. Our new design standards for each of the marquees has been implemented for the 1941 model year to further increase the quality rating. So for the 1941 model year, the Dove Q3C is going to have a reduction in weight. The 1939 model year has a weight of about 2,204 pounds. For the 1940 model, it was decreased down to 2,195 pounds. This year, it's going to be at 1,979 pounds. As far as the cubic feet, 23, the overall fuel consumption has gone up from 30.3 miles per gallon in 1940. And then this year, it's going to be 32.2 miles per gallon from the same engine, which is the W6 83 horsepower and 76 foot pounds of torque. Now, our overall cost of building this vehicle has gone up, but our material costs have gone down. Primarily, the weight reduction of the vehicle is because of the materials that are used inside of the cabin, some of the safety features that are implemented into the interior and exterior of the vehicle. Next, we're going to read design our Q4S sedan. So it'll be one of the first vehicles that will reach dealerships. 1940 model year is going to be 2,405 pounds as opposed to the introductory model that weighed about 2,643 pounds. They share the same motor with that reduction that has increased the acceleration from 23.9 0 to 60 down to 22.5. And the top speed is about the same. Both vehicles reached a top speed of about 84 miles per hour, but the fuel economy has increased from 22 miles per gallon up to 22.9. And they both have a cargo space of about 36 cubic feet. 
designing our large vehicles, which is the Q5C Coupe, the full-size Q6S sedan. And both of those share the same platform, which is a large front mid rear engine design. The Q5C, which was first introduced as the Coupe model in for the 1940 model year, which had a zero to 60 acceleration of 17.4 seconds, a top speed of 91 miles per hour, a fuel economy of 34.7 miles per gallon combined, total cargo space of 29 cubic feet, and that vehicle had a length of 174 inches, a width of 69 inches, and a total weight of 1,631 pounds. And the W6 motor provided 83 horsepower and 76 foot-pounds of torque. All made it to the Allure 3A EQ6 automatic transmission. We were able to pull almost about 100 pounds out of the vehicle for 1941. It still has the same W6 motor with 83 horsepower and 76 foot-pounds of torque at 23 100 RPM. The fuel economy has increased up to about 36.1 miles per gallon. The top speed is about the same at 91 miles per hour. The acceleration though has gone from 17.4 down to 16.6 seconds to 60.